what we're going to do today is forge a scorpion bottle opener. Here's one I finished earlier. Uh, so I figured I'd make a video and show y'all the process that I do it at. Alright, hang tight and we'll get started here in a minute. Alright, now, sorry for, it's not the greatest shot, I'm using my phone, I'm going to have it set kind of close, give us a mark with the chisel. There we go, now we got us mark, back into the fire. For our second heat, let's just stick with the chisel. Alright, one more heat and we should have it. Bandsaw before you get started. I just did it this way. Bandsaw might be a little quicker. Alright, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna flatten this out. Give it a good brush. Try and keep it as much scale off as we can. We'll stick the hardy hole in, tool in there. Push it, tap on it from the other end. Help separate them legs out like that. All right, now what we want to do is we want to draw these legs out. So, set there, bend this one down out of the way. Take this one over here. I'm just kind of smoothing things out, taking some of the big hammer marks out, not really trying to move much metal. All right, let's give her a brush. Like that. 
Now for the next one. Alright, let's see if they match up. That one there is a little bit longer, so we'll uh, heat it up, stretch that one out probably another quarter inch or so, kind of square it up, make it look a little bit more like that, but that's where we're at right now. There we go. We got them about equal. Uh, not really perfect. World really is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come back to this area here, and we're work, going to work on thinning it down, tapering it down to more of a point before we start putting the texture in and everything. All right. So what I'm going to do is just start somewhere in this area. white lines I want the length to be from there to about somewhere in there so we're at the length we need to start Now we're going to take this to a point.
right, we're back out of the fire. Let's take our chisel. Like I said, we're just going to define them lines a little bit. this little rounded end punch right here put the little notch in for the bottles there we go that's good enough for now this kind of gives us a mark to go by if you look right there you can see it in there them lines Nothing special, but it kind of gives it that effect. I'm going to finish setting this down inside there. Just a little bit more. hooks on on the top of the bottle opener and make them look like an actual scorpion. Right, so just want to kind of put them in here. Open them up a little bit. moment but we'll get her there all right we're gonna take some pliers and just kind of help open them up a bit just a little bit bring them in here to what we're looking for right like that just come in here close them up a bit
what we're looking at now. So now what we want to do is come back and kind of hit that back in there just a little bit. And then we'll take the little stinger portion and kind of turn it up a little bit. All right. Just going to take and kind of set this. too hot so we're gonna let it set here and cool for a minute this here is nothing but an old cotton t-shirt it's kind of been sopped this up from where it's got the paste wax has got hot but you can still see some of the red there in the tail you want it as a black heat or else as you can see it'll just burn off and do nothing let me get these but let's see when it's ready it'll start darkening up real nice and you're just going to sit here it's like seasoning a cast iron pan I'm going to put a few coats of oil on and let it kind of bake in there get it inside there be careful not to burn yourself I'm sure there's a safer way of doing this with your hand not so close but this is the way I've been doing it it's worked so far make sure you get it all all covered nice and good All right, and there you have it. Let me see if I can get you in for a better look at it. 